What's going on people? We're here at the NEC Birmingham for the Gadget Show Live 2014. Whether you're into games, cars, or you're looking for the latest tech for your home, this is the place to be. I'm Phil Shan for Gadgets Boy. Let's go and check it out. What's going on people? We're here at the Gadget Show live. Um, as we were coming in, I've found this cool stand. This is Andy from DJI and he's going to show us and tell us all about, about the Phantom. So Andy, what's, what's this all about? This is the Phantom 2 Vision Plus. It got released yesterday and it's a, it's a quadricopter designed for out of the box flying video and photos. The camera shoots 14 megapixels wow. stills in Adobe DNG RAW and you can also shoot 1080p at 30 and uh, sorry, 720p wow. at 60. So in essence, to, to save a helicopter going up there, we just send the Phantom out, yeah? Rather than the helicopter, you can get closer, you can get better shots, and you have a lot more freedom flying one of these. So the creative possibilities of this wow. is basically endless. Wow. So, so, so for, for what reason exactly? Are we talking movies? Are we talking... We're talking adventure sport films, home cinema. I mean, wow. it's whatever you want it to be. People use these on their holidays. Wow. Yeah. If only I had one to take on holiday, that would be awesome. So how much is this looking to set you back exactly? Are, are we talking, how, how much are we talking, Andy? We haven't quite come down on the full price yet, but it'll cost you around 900 pounds. Which, for state-of-the-art technology, is... Not that much. Not that, no, <laughs> not that not. much at all. So that's the camera stabilization going. Everything that comes out of that camera is actually looking really, really stable, no matter how much the whole thing moves around. How long is like, the battery life? Is it, is it, is it it's around 25 minutes, depending on how you fly. Okay. Any external influences, like wind or people pushing it, it'll still stay stable, still stay in the air. Hurricanes? <laughs> yeah. No, it's, this can hover in about 25 mile an hour winds. And uh, you won't actually, even when it's hovering, you won't really see the video shake because the stabilizer will, will yeah, take yeah, away yeah. all of it. Wow, that is awesome. Does it come in different colors, Andy? No, but it does have a bunch of stickers. <laughs> Just to give it your own little look. Yeah. A lot of people customize them with paint jobs, that kind of thing. Is it okay for me to have a go in a bit? No. Outdoors, <laughs> ab outdoors, absolutely. But in here, it's a little bit harder to fly. Mate, that's totally understandable. You're the expert, mate. Yeah. Outside, we, we give this thing to beginners, because outside, if you let go, it'll hover on the spot with a GPS lock. Wow. Same height, same position, so it'll just sit there. A bit like cruise control. Yeah, exactly like cruise control. But you could, later on, in a few weeks, there'll be an upgrade for the firmware, which means you can set waypoints on an iPad and it'll fly automatically on the route that you set it. Wow. Are you, in terms of speeds, is there a yeah. speed, a miles per, what, what are we talking? If you... It'll fly about 30 miles an hour. So it flies with the birds? Yeah. So you said this was launched yesterday. Yeah. Is this worldwide? Worldwide launch. And what stores are we looking to find this in, Andy? Or is it online purchase? Uh, there are dealers, you can buy them online off DJI.com and there are dealers all over the UK. Uh, for a full list, you'd have to go to our website. So that's been Andy from DJI showing us the Phantom. Yeah. What's going on people? We're here with Ian from CEO and he's gonna tell us all about the Robox 3D printer. So Ian, what's, what's all this about, mate? So Robox is designed to be used in the home. It's gonna form factor, sit on your desk. We, we want people to make stuff. That's what we like doing. And yeah. this, is, this is aimed at the ordinary person just using it in the house yeah. or small businesses. We've put a lot of features in this that uh, other people don't have to make it easy for you to just get on and mm -hmm. print stuff. It's on sale for 849. Uh, and we're expecting deliveries in kind of around June. We're just going through uh, the start of a beta program with our Kickstarter backers okay. with a successful Kickstarter campaign yeah. in December. It's also got a unique head system that has a large nozzle for fast fill and a fine nozzle for lots of detail. So we reckon we're three times faster than our competitors. We're probably about half the price. You look at other competitors, they're, they're putting a lot of features in, but much larger systems. We're deliberately keeping it small. So Ian, you've told us a lot about it, a lot about it so far. What, what sort of stuff exactly can you print? Can you, can you show us yeah, any I mean, examples? So, so pretty much, pretty much anything you like. I mean here, so 
the engineering types, you've got stuff like these are prototype parts for the printer. Yeah, yeah. So, so this came out of the printer? Yeah. So that's that's a prototype of the extruder part. We've also got to rum around, wow. rummage around in my pocket. So we've also got stuff like you know Yoda, which is not that practical, that's I pretty, suppose, but but pretty cool. And you've also got really fine detail on this uh, on this guy here. So it takes longer to print fine detail, but you can get some really really uh, so, precision stuff. So how out. long? How long to print that? He would have probably talking? taken a few hours. Get yourself a CEO Robux. This has been Ian uh, from CEO Robux Gadget Show Live. What we found here, a cool gadget called Touch Genie, okay? With there being so many different touchscreen devices out there today, it's only right that you turn your TV at home into its own touchscreen. Touch Genie connects to your existing TV via USB and it allows multi-touch using the IR system. With these specs, it allows accuracy, speed, and also allows families to come together, play games, and also, for students, it creates a positive learning environment. Okay, the cool thing is, with Touch Genie, you don't have to go out and buy a whole new system. All you need to do, okay, is buy one of these, attach it to your 17-inch screen or more for 100 pound, and then away you go. So if you're visiting the Gadget Show Live this week and you're interested in Touch Genie, this product will be available later this year. Despite being light-skinned like Lewis Hamilton, if you want to be a driver like him, it all starts here at home. So the first thing you need to do is master the controls. Here we have an accessory for your Xbox 360, steering wheel, paddle shift at the side, you have your Y, B, A and X buttons. Also, here at your feet, you also have foot controls, right and left. Let's go for a little drive. So this game I'm playing right now is Grid 2. And I have to say that the pedals and the steering is really, really responsive. This makes me look like a better driver than I actually am. Mr. Lewis Hamilton has got nothing on me, baby. What's going on people? Right now you're probably thinking, what is going on behind me? But we found a cool gadget at the Gadget Show Live called Digilex. And if you're into stage performance, even movie directing, or if you just want simple fun at a party in your back garden, Digilex is for you. Okay, I'm gonna put myself in the Digilex and see how I get along. Watch this. Right guys, I'm, I'm, I'm out of breath, okay? I've just had a go on the Digilegs. Firstly, they're awesome. Secondly, they take all the energy out of you. Very good for the legs, very good for the thighs. Basically, it's like doing constant squats, but definitely Digilegs, quality gadget. Okay, uh, so we're here with Paddy nice from uh, from Bike Hood, and we found a, a cool gadget for uh, motorcyclists. Paddy, do you want to tell us all about well, it? Well, basically, this is a heads up display for motorcycles. Okay. So, you'll show up with your speed, gears, revs, you leave your indicators on, now show up, time, and temperature. So, basically, everything in your dials will appear on it. So, you're not looking down anymore, you're simply looking straight ahead. 
So that's one of the main selling points is safety. It'll come with three riding modes. So normal, which is obviously what I described. Yeah, yeah. You'll have sp um, a sport mode, so for going out and track days. So do lap times, everything like that. And then turn, which is very similar to the normal mode. They'll have kilometers, it'll work a lot better for it to do a turn. So for those, uh, you mentioned safety, but for, for those who are worried about safety, is is the, all this information right in the line of your sight or is it see that's one of the great things about it it doesn't actually sit in front of your eye it sits just below it just below. so it's in your peripheral vision as such okay so you're simply glancing down you're looking at it right. but it's not blocking your view so right. it's not distracting you in any way so it's completely illegal it's been safety tested so in a high, in the case of a high impact it won't wobble about it won't hit or impact yeah. you so it's completely safe. Do you, do you want to just show us and tell us exactly how you install these things and how you mount them onto? Yeah, onto well, the basically, helmet? straightforward enough to install. As you can see here, this is the HUD unit itself, so the monocle, where all the information is. Yeah. That then comes down through a wire here, as you can see. Then that's then connected into your bike. So it'll connect through this device here, as you can see. So it's a pendant. And that um, basically in it will be an audio as well. So say you want to listen to your music or if uh, Satnav, which we'll talk about in a bit, they'll have that audio as well. And they'll then connect through an HDMI, there'll be a computer with it, which is the hub unit itself, yeah. size of an iPhone, that connects into your bike, straightforward enough, very simple. It uses GPS to read your gears, your rev speed, it, that's is, how it figures everything out. Right, this is creating another yeah. driving experience, man. It's like living in the future. Tell us about the sat-nav, you mentioned that earlier and that was quite a... Yeah, well, um, it's another, so it'll be a software update. So yeah. basically, it'll have satellite navigation coming out in about three weeks' time. That's cool, man. So literally, we're working on now, it's in the testing stages, but yeah. it'll be out soon. It'll basically show up here, it'll be a directional arrow. It'll be yeah. very basic, but it'll be a directional arrow, it'll be distance and then street name you turn on to, as well as audio as well. Yeah. So it'll be pretty simple, but yet again, it'll work really well, so it'll just be easy to follow. And I'll still have your speed and all, yeah. so everything you need will just be there in front of you. That, that is, Paddy, that's cool, man. Um, yeah. Sounding cool, sounds great, sounds awesome. Yeah. How much is this gonna set us back, Paddy? Well, normally we're doing it 397, but for okay. the month of April, we're doing it at 297, so we're taking 100 pound off. Wow. And we're also bundling in the satellite navigation as free well. of charge with that, as well as safety cameras, which I didn't really mention, but basically, it'll be a small icon of flash up when you're approaching speed cameras. Wow, well, Paddy, that's been great. So Cheers. I've been speaking to Paddy from Bike Hood and uh, coming out next three weeks for the sat nav? Yep, yep. Uh, three weeks for the sat nav and the safety features, but you can buy this now, obviously, okay. and I'll reduce price during the month awesome. of April. We're here with Zen, and he is the man behind the product iGear. How's it going, Zen? Yeah, not bad, not bad. We've just launched our new product today, which is iGear J25. The product name J25 stands for jacket with 25 pockets. Well, start, okay, so a jacket, because yeah. I'm used to jackets with at least a good four pockets. Yep. But you're saying there's an extra 21 pockets in, in, in your jacket? Yep, just in case if you ever run out of pockets. You've got them there. Awesome. Is this, is you wearing yep. it now? I'm wearing it just now. Okay. 25 pockets, and I'll show you some of the kind of main pockets. Awesome. First of all, we've got a touch sensitive screen for your so. iPhone or your Android phone. You can use it over the film. Your iPad, full size iPad. That is cool. It can house up to a 11 inch MacBook Air. Wow. And for those of you who have maybe a 15 inch laptop, there's a pocket for that in the back. Stop it. Stop it, Zen. So just here, yeah? Yeah, just here. It goes all the way through. Wow. And for those times where maybe you feel a bit threatened and you want to carry something a bit serious, then you've always oh, got All right, that. so you got, so what, what we got there, Nerf? Oh, yeah. we got the Nerf, mate. So it's all weight managed as well, so you don't, you're not meant to feel as yeah. if you're carrying a lot of stuff. So, so, so do you, you, do you yeah. feel pretty comfortable? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You can stand for hours, and we've been standing at the trade shows for the next seven days solid. Wow. 10 hours a day and perfectly fine. Tell us about the, the headphones yep. as well. The headphones are channeled through to the back here in the collar area and then the channel back 
onto the other side. Nice, so it's, it's, the wiring's pretty flush as well yep. like, throughout there? Yeah, wiring's all flush, yeah. So they don't get tangled or it's just easier to manage. That is, so how is this an improvement to, to the... Good question, good, good question. Yeah. I thought you were going to get there. No, it's all about the improvements. The sleeves come off. Oh, stop it. Not for the summer. So basically you can take off and use it as a vest. Wow. It's also waterproof, showerproof. And so if you want to take a shower, <laughs> you want to take a shower with that on. Yeah, it's fine. Shower, as in, if you've ever travelled to Scotland, you yeah, know what the weather's like. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's. Birmingham yeah. is nice and sunny. Yeah. We, we we don't mean actual sh shower. We mean showers. Okay. This weather is summer for us. I mean, you know, this this is like a holiday in, for us. Birmingham, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So come back up there. It's, it's winter pretty much all year round. Yeah. So, uh, so it's designed for heavy rain. So this is seriously multi-purpose, isn't it? Yep. And it's also breathable as well, so if, when you take it off, yep. you're not gonna be you're not gonna feel sweaty. Okay. Or you know. Do you are you looking to maybe trousers or any any other type of gear? Are we sticking with the jackets for now as in? We're a bit like Apple, we don't like to share stuff. Ah, <laughs> don't do that. Um, yeah, how much is gonna set us back? Is it's it? $139.99. Our previous jacket was hundred pounds, but this is a two in one. Okay. So it can turn into a vest, a jacket with the added features. Yeah. Uh, improved materials, concealed hood as well, yeah. which I forgot to say. So all of that, it's a uh, fairly decent value for your right. money. This, this is what you call stealth. Ultimate. I love it. Okay, what's going on people? Uh, we're here still at the Gadget Show. Uh, a couple of years ago we brought to you Solo Wheel, but today we found Turbo Wheel. I'm here with Scott from Turbo Wheel and he's going to tell us all about it. How's it going bro? Yeah good, how are you guys doing? You yeah doing we're doing it? really well, really well mate. Um, so tell us about Turbo Wheel. So basically Turbo Wheel as you can see is a fraction of price of Solo Wheel. Uh, we are able to manufacture it and deliver it to our customers for less than £500. Wow. Uh, and yeah basically the specs on it, it depends on your weight but uh, on my personal wheel I've managed to get 15 miles out of my wheel and that's doing full speed which is 15k. Wow. So it's quite impressive specs on it. So let's just quickly, the cost, um, Solo will set you back about three, three and a half grand. Yeah, so I that. think it's something like that. So yeah. we're talking about 500. Yeah, so literally so it's, 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 it's reasonable, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. They're, they're a brilliant product. Obviously, we aim for commuters and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But we actually offer stabilizers for the wheel as well. So okay. any kids can jump on and have new, a new new as well. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Um, so in terms of your weight, does, does, does that matter? Not at a big all. Thing? Like, unless you're over 120 kilograms, which most people aren't, uh, yeah, yeah it's for anyone. Right, and um, balance and... Yeah, it takes about 10 minutes to get used to it. It's not really the balance of, uh, of the, the machine, it's basically just getting used to it. Okay. So we always advise our customers to hold onto a wall and just rock back and forth just to get used to the machine. Yeah. But most of our customers have emailed in videos of them flying down the street right. within the first day uh, and they're absolutely loving it and commuting to work. So would you, on the way to work, for, for, for the newcomers, would you advise some sort of protection? Uh, we always say, like, obviously, users should wear a helmet and safety yeah. protection, like you would on a push bike. But nowadays, most people don't bother doing that anyway. And course, obviously, yeah, they yeah. are safe. They are safe. If you if you feel uncomfortable, you literally just step off like I am now, yeah. and it's just nice and relaxed against my foot. Awesome. So, um, just talk about how it's how it's powered exactly. What's what's the technology within this? Yeah. So it's basically run on a gyro. So there's. Uh, like a gyro in the inside the wheel, okay. the battery's here, yeah. yep. and basically that reads whether you're leaning forwards or backwards. Okay. So, yeah. so it responds to however... Exactly, wherever you move it responds to. Yeah. So if I push my leg back, it'll go backwards, if I push it forwards, it'll go forwards. You know what, can I have a go? Yeah, yeah I'm going to have a go. So have you just seen, I've had a go on the turbo wheel. It was fun, it took me about two, three minutes to get used to it. I probably looked a bit more nervous than I actually was. Uh, but it's fun, you can actually customise the look of your turbo wheel. So if you get a chance, go ahead and grab one. Okay, cool. What's going on, people? We're here at the Microsoft stand at the Gadget Show Live, and we've just been looking at the Infinity Emperor Ultimate Workstation. So this right here is one of the best game stations that money can buy. For £10,000, overclockers are giving you some of the latest and best specs, including CPU, GPU, and RAM. When it comes to the experience, it has several things. Comfortability, triple screens, cup holders, leather seat, and 2.1 Bose speakers integrated into that seat. Not forgetting the adjustable screens and the adjustable chair. 
all this controlled at your fingertips. So if you guys are at the Gadget Show Live this week, please check out the window stand and have a look at the Infinity Emperor workstation. How's it going people? I'm here uh, with Jack from One Wheel. These guys have come all the way from California, but they're here in Birmingham at the Gadget Show Live to uh, showcase their product, One Wheel. How's it going, man? Um, tell us about your product. Yeah, so this is the One Wheel. Um, it's got a hub motor inside this Formula One tire, which kind of tells you sort of where, where our head's at on this one. Um, batteries under one foot panel and uh, sort of the brains under the other foot panel. And uh, it, what it does is it's, it's, uh, it allows you to self-balance. Um, so all you have to do is lean one way to go, um, and the more you lean, the faster you go. So it's quite responsive. To exactly. To yeah, and then turning is all uh, heel and toe side turns like you do on a snowboard. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it sort of feels like you're gliding on pavement. So it's a pretty cool feeling. So um, I'm not a snowboarder, I'm not a skateboarder. I do admire their talent. But is this okay for beginners and for those who haven't done that before? Yeah, yeah. I, I would describe it as a as a steep three minute learning curve. Okay. You know, so it's not like uh, snowboarding where you're going to spend a whole weekend, you know, and you're going to have a bruised tailbone by the end of it. Uh, no, this is, uh, it, you know, it takes a couple minutes to get the hang of, but it's pretty simple. Um, it really comes down to just relaxing. Okay. Uh, you know, if you sort of just let the one wheel. Uh, you know, balance you. Yeah, let yeah. the one wheel take over control. Trust, trust in the you one wheel. trust the one wheel. <laughs> trust the yeah, one yeah, wheel. Yeah, that's that's the way to do it. So, um, yeah, pretty simple. A couple couple minutes, and, and you should be going. Yeah. So, so we're talking about trusting the one wheel. Um, can we trust it at high speeds? What, what what's what's the top speed on this? Yeah, yeah. So, um, right now, it, its top speed is about 12 miles an hour, and that's actually software capped. Right. So you could go faster, but. Uh, when you're going 12 miles an hour, which is about, what, tw uh, 20 kilometers an hour, that's, I think? That's pretty quick. And there's nothing under your front foot. Yeah, exactly. It feels fast quick. enough. <laughs> so, so would you say, take the limiters off or just leave it limited, yeah? <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm about ready to take the limiters off myself, but I think for, the official, expert, for the official word, I think, you know, yeah, yeah. leave the limiters on, folks. Yeah. Uh, and wear a helmet, too. <laughs> you, you heard it from Jack himself. So, uh, Jack Price, so... Tell us about the affordability. Sure, yeah, so um, we launched on Kickstarter in January. Yep. Uh, we raised $630,000, sold about 500 boards, a lot of them here in the UK, and uh, those will be shipped in September. So if the thought of you know, your neighbor having a, a board uh, and you not uh, <laughs> is something that you can't live with, you can pre-order one now. Uh, they're starting at $1,499, that's $1,500 US. Um, and uh, those will be shipped in November. Yeah. So uh, those are the last boards sold in 2014. So if you're if you're trying to get a holiday uh, board, you know the time is now. The so time is now. yeah, like summer's approaching as well. They might get that summer feeling, you know. It, for exactly. The wheel. Exactly. So uh, yeah, you're gonna want to be uh, cruising on this by the beach, perhaps, or you know, any, just about anywhere. <laughs> you know. So awesome. Before we go, where can we find you? Yeah, we're at. Um, Ride One Wheel on Twitter and Instagram. We're on Facebook, and uh, you can pre-order at uh, rideonewheel.com. Uh, yep, check us out. So that's been our time at the Gadget Show Live 2014, but it doesn't end there as this show is on for the rest of the week. If you check out any of the stores that we've mentioned in this video, please let them know that Gadgets Boy sent you. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. I've been Phil Sham for Gadgets Boy at the Gadget Show Live 2014. See you soon.